Okay, how you doing? I want to do a quick review of web browsers. I think everyone pretty much knows that um, f uh, that uh, Internet Explorer is not a good web browser. And in fact, it's a horrible web browser. As a uh, After I got into web development, I realized just how bad it was. And there's no reason to suffer from it. Because all the web browsers that I'm going to review in this movie are free uh, for your download. And they are all better than Internet Explorer. I'm going to go through um, Safari for the Mac. Safari for the uh, PC, Firefox for the uh, Mac, Firefox for the PC, and there's Camino, which is only for the Mac, and then there's Google Chrome, which right now is only for um, the PC, and they are working on a Mac version. I'll be excited to see what that looks like. So, uh, if I had to only recommend one web browser, it would be Firefox. Firefox is probably the um, the fastest and the uh, and the best mix of features uh, for o for overall use but um, here it is for the uh, for the PC right here one thing I want to uh, mention with uh, web browsing as things go uh, go more online we have to uh, you know visit courts online do a lot more things online of course there's even word processing and all sorts of web applications that are coming up and there are certainly going to be uh, more and more things going through the browser uh, the browser is very important and to keep things sort of organized, I think the the um, tab browsing is a very important feature, and that's what I have here. The, this, these are these are tabs, and they're different web pages inside of the same window to keep things more organized. Now, the way you can get a new tab, the sh the uh, keyboard shortcut. I'm a big fan of keyboard shortcuts um, on a uh, PC. Is Control T, and that opens up a new tab. Now you can go ahead and you can search. Uh, whatever you want in there, and you can treat it just like a new uh, a new window, and you can check out different things in inside of this tab and keep your other tabs alone. Now you can play around in the um, in the uh, tools and uh, preferences and files menu to uh, in the file you can get your new tab as well, a uh, new window, and you can play around with your preferences and and see what you like best. Um, but I, and I certainly recommend doing that because as as things progress, you know it's just much easier to spend a few minutes and make things where you like it. Here's what it looks like on the Mac, and here are the tabs, and here's the bookmarks bar. Bookmarks are very are very useful. Now, if I want to open this bookmark up in a new tab, just hold down the control uh, the the uh, command button. The command button on a Mac is essentially the same as the control button on, on a PC. It does all the same things. And another nice thing I like about the Mac is, in addition to, you know, the cleaner look that it has without the extra stuff on the edges of the window, you can also minimize the windows with this little oval button in the corner. This is uh, available on essentially every um, application and every window on a Mac. So you can kind of toggle it back and forth. Another general... Uh, tip for web browsing is you right clicking to get the contextual menu you right click on something you can go back you can reload uh, you can do a bunch of different things in this case I haven't gone anywhere in these in these windows so uh, back is not available but if I go somewhere it will be well we're not going to wait for it Next, I want to talk about Safari, which is I think is a great um, browser to do overall web browsing. Some of the productivity stuff you can't uh, Safari isn't fully supported, but for looking at websites, it makes websites look really good. And it's, of course, for the, here here's a Safari three for um, the uh, PC, and here again it's the same it's the same idea with the. Uh, See, open a new tab. You're right click on that. Open a new tab. All right. So these are the these are the PC windows. We'll go back to the Mac here. I'll show you the Mac part because the PC really just doesn't. It's not that fast. This is um the this is oh there we go. This is Safari for um, Safari for Beta. This is a brand new one for the Mac, and it's also comes. It's also available for the PC. What they've done here is just show you. That it's it's really a, a, a lot of visual things. Here are top sites. 
you can get to your top sites by going here. So, for example, if you want to go you know, Wikipedia, there you go. Um, and this also has the, uh, and you can see here, it, it's defaulted to open up in top sites when I open a new tab. So I can go here. Now, one thing I really like about Safari, which you can't do in any other ones, is remove windows from the uh, from the uh, main screen. So if you click on this and you drag it out and you let it go, it becomes its own its own window. Click and drag it out and let it go. If you want to merge all the windows back together, you just merge all windows. And they become one thing again, which is nice. It's good good to keep it. Uh, oh, look at the, the PC is having all kinds of problems here. Um, but the same thing works in the PC. Is it is Safari, after all. And that is Safari. Next, I want to talk about the two designated uh, browsers, Camino and Chrome. Camino is, as you can see, it's uh, Mozilla Power Mac style. It's made by the same... Uh, the same group that makes Firefox, which is a, it's all open source. Those are programmers that, that do things for free. Um, and it is, it's nice. It's somewhat redundant, but it's a little cleaner than Firefox, and it uses the same rendering engine. So if you're interested in having this one, so we download this one. I like the way the bookmark, it does the bookmarks, because it shows you the little icon in the, in the, in the bookmarks panel, which is nice. That's a nice feature of it, and it may be worth something to you. And then here's Google Chrome. It's probably the slickest um, of, of the three. It's the most minimal. Here's the tab browsing for that. You can grab a new tab. And then your most visited sites comes up. It's similar to what I just showed you with Safari, but it just doesn't look as good. The, one, the major difference about um, Chrome is the idea of being able to search in the address bar. Uh, one last thing I want to mention about all these browsers. If you if you know the address you're going to, I would recommend just typing it into the address bar. And it'll give you the, the, the um, sites that you've been to before, and you can get this stuff much faster that way. If you know the URL, the web address, there's no point in searching for it and then going... And then going to... Uh, Searching and then going to uh, the the results list inside of Google to get it. It's just an extra step, and there's really no reason for it. But there's going to be uh, I'm going to do a bunch of movies on uh, on web browsers because they are important. But this is an overview, and I certainly recommend that you go get one of them. Thanks for watching.